Right. This is an Evolution Airsoft. Everybody keeps asking me about these and I don't fucking know, but we're going to find out what this is. So, metal body, metal rail. I recognise this receiver type. Uh, it's similar to the Novrich and the Lancer and all that stuff. Uh, it's been lasered with that on there. It's got a really shitty pistol grip on there that I'll have to modify so it doesn't fall apart. Uh, this is going to be a very quick video, alright? I may not even fucking edit this because I'm doing this out of turn. This, this one has jumped up the queue because I'm sick of people asking me about Evolution Airsofts. Obviously, I don't get things that are working properly. You should know that by now. So what I'm looking for here is a gun that won't be working properly. I've never seen one, I've got to look at it. The ETS electronic trigger system. Semi connect battery. Okay, so it says move to semi. It's ticking at me. Pull the trigger the proper number of times. So, first semi. Oh good, it's some of these instructions that don't make any fucking sense. Open functions list. Move the selector loop to semi, then connect the battery. Okay. Pull the trigger the proper number of times following the functions list. Functions list for semi. Well, I pulled it once. Tell me what the fuck this is. Warning! Make sure the selector lever is on safe position before connecting the battery. Step one. Move the selector to semi, then connect battery. Right, that's a load of shit. Wait, what, what the fuck even is that? No, what the fuck is that? One, two, three. Right, okay, so one. Burst on semi. Right, exactly what I was doing, okay? Let's, let's do this shit again. So, if I want to use the gun, right? If I want to use the gun, put it on safe, plug in battery, put to there. Okay, unplug battery, put to semi, plug in battery, trigger response, ramping semi active brake, Full cycle reset. So trigger response, I guess, from zero to 100. Okay, so one, two, move that over. One, two, three, four, fuck it. Then back to semi, back to safe, back to semi. Okay, so. Apparently that's pre, they call it trigger response, it's pre-cocking by the look of it. Unplug, semi, plug, beats me three times. So, one, two, one, that one there, that one there. Right, okay, so I've got one bit of pre-cocking. So now I'm gonna unplug it, put it to semi, plug it back in. I'm gonna go 
So, burst, trigger response, ramping semi, fuck knows, active brake, definitely. That one there. One, two, three. That one, that one. Back the semi. That one there. Unplug battery, put to semi. Plug in battery. One, trigger response. That one there. Three times. That one, that one. That one. Okay, okay, safe. That one there. Auto. Plug in. First. One, two, three. Okay, so that's how that works. Doesn't like 11 one batteries. Ah, you bastard. The hop is on full and it's unable to hop a 2.5. So we'll deal with that later on. 0.83 joules. Right, so normal shit, bevel, not shimmed properly, absolutely standard in airsoft, not worth whinging about. Just left to free float. Okay, nice pretty silver paint on the outside, standard tatty gearbox on the inside, but nothing worth worrying about. Looks tatty, everything smooth as it needs to be from what I can see. Full steel rack piston, oodles of grease. Oh, the piston head is horrendous. That's really bad. Like it's, um, there's oh, so much flash on it. Look. Hear that? Fucking terrible. And the screw just breaks to point one. Piston head is fucking shit. That goes down there. 21.2 nozzle, that's very frustrating. There was nothing wrong with the old length nozzles until you started changing your fucking hop units. That's fucking abysmal. Basic Chinese gears, nothing terrible. Seem to work. Plunger as a trigger, that's fine by me. Digital relay there, that's fine by me. Okay, apart from that being a shit cunt to set up, if you don't know how, um, and the irritating battery thing, which there might be a workaround, I don't know, but that's quite frustrating. Um, seems like it's not a bad little unit. That's quite sharp standing up there. I'm assuming if these prongs were to touch the inside of here, all hell will break loose, so eh, might want to shorten those down, guys. Okay, now that I've taken all the bits out of it, I might say that if you can have a digital switch, you probably don't want that happening because that will definitely break it. You definitely need to shim that. Come on, guys. Inside it, everything is kind of generic. There's a decent four metal piston in there. I recognize that from something else. Uh, piston head was shit, so I removed that. All I've done to this is a new spring, slightly more powerful, 
better piston head and better uh, o-ring maple leaf rubber and omega nub everything else is completely standard apart from the motor that he provided that i've now seated properly it also works on 11 one now it wasn't working 11 before i think it's just the mosfet playing up this is it on 11 one And it's smoking. There's smoke coming out of it. Nick, I'm very disappointed. And it's dead. It died. I'm sure it's only a glitch. You call this a glitch? Great. Right, no damage to parts. Piston is perfect. Piston head still attached. No teeth off any of the gears. Everything still perfect. Looks like there's not very good protection on the unit. So will I be recommending this? No, because without this, you've got a cheap shitty Lancer. Maybe what we need here is a fresh perspective. All right, let's try that fucking shit again, shall we? Uh, whatever the reason might be, if you've got a unit like this, you want a fuse, or you want this thing to cut out if there's a problem. So, if you do get a lock up of the gears or lock up of the piston, something happens, you need something to stop this setting on fire, which clearly this either doesn't have or doesn't work properly. 7.4 Lion Warhead Motor Heron Hybrid V2. Semi. Auto. Isn't that better? <laughs>